Okay, so first I have to launch MRI Chrome. So in the searcher, you can see the software. I open it, and then I launch some background template that can be an MNI or single sub, just we have these templates or your subject template. Um, so here I chose this template. Then I go to a draw statistics and I choose create overlap images. So I want to create an overlap image of my lesion, uh, my subject lesions. Um, so I go to my directory. The lesions uh, maps sh maps should be in the same directory. Um, so in my case, it is own data aphasia morphology study aphasic aphasia patient with aphasia and then group analysis. Um, lesion maps and here it's a VOI template and my templates are in NII so I chose your new imaging then you can see here my four subject lesion maps I choose them all and then I open and immediately I have to save the maps so he asked me to change to choose a, a name for the unified lesion map so it's one NII image so let's call it all subs a lesion map for example and then I save it here um, no sorry I changed the directory to which I want to save it um, so I go here again on data aphasia morphology um, group analysis in my case it's lesion maps and I uh, save it here I'll change the name to overlap because I already have it so for example overlap lesion maps for example and I save the NII um, then I, um, I click on draw and close view eyes or close overlays, whatever it is, because you want to launch it um, from the beginning. So I go to, um, I think it's overlay, yes, and add an overlay. And here is my overlap lesion maps that I created. I press and open, and you see it's in one. Um, it's in one color, which I don't want. Um, also, I don't know why, but it seems um, well. It's okay. So I want to change the color. So I click here on red, and instead of this color, I choose the spectrum, and then I'll be able to see um, the overlapping between different lesions on the brain. Um, so here I have the minimum and maximum overlapping. In my case, I have the minimum of one overlap lesions and the maximum is four. So let's go from one to four and I wanna see the maximum overlapping. Um, I can see that whenever I stand on a position, let's say here, um, this point, so you can see that up here it's, um, you can see the, um, the value of the, the background image, which is one point, uh, 0 0.31, etc., and um, 2, which is the overlapping of two images. Whenever I go here, it's only one image. So here you can be, you, you're able to see um, in the warm colors how many images overlap, or how many lesions in my case. Um, in my case, I don't have more than, um, more than two. So for example, if I press here, um, let's say I want to see minimum three overlap and maximum four. I don't really get anything in my brain. So it means that the maximum of overlapping is two, which we've seen just before. Um, okay, now I want to create um, slices of the brain, different slices, um, different X, Y, Z um, values to see uh, the overlap map um, across different uh, places in the brain. So I go to window, multi-slice, and here, let me enlarge this. Okay, great. So first I want to set the, um, the slices. Which slices do I want to see in the image? So I'll go for 26 and, I don't know, 36, 45, 75, according which I've seen in my images. So it's not just numbers, you have to see first in your images um, where it is exactly and then choose um, choose the numbers. Uh, 
yeah I think let's go a little bit more um, minus 26 maybe zero yes okay so this is all the images that I can get um, and okay and I can um, I can present it with a little overlap so it would take less space and maybe me be more clear so I go to oval slice and then let's say I want to keep the left side right because I don't want the, the right side to overlap the left side and hide this one right so I want the left side overlap a little bit on the right side of the brain so I go here and I think it's a plus 20 yes so just look whatever happens if I chose minus 20 no I don't want it so plus 20 and then I can just file and save the bitmap and it saves the um, PNG uh, image of the overlapping I just created and if I want to change the orientation so I can choose here sagittal and I can choose coronal, axial, etc. and save each one of them by saving a bitmap and um, you can see those bitmaps here I, I, just save them in the in this directory and that's it thank you for listening and good luck with whatever